something that I've struggled with. Um, not, not really like, well, do I really love her? But like, you know, how do I know that I'm supposed to spend, you know, the last 60 years of my life with this girl? Um, how do I know that she's, she's the one for me? There's, I don't know. My girlfriend, uh, her name's Melanie. She goes to the University of Maryland. I've been dating her for almost five years. Four years and nine months. Dude, I like this girl because she's just a joy to be around. She's just sweet. Um, we get along so well. We work together well. We have fun together well. It's just, I don't know, just, it just works, and it's sweet. We had a lot of fun, and I got bored. <laughs> Was part of it the fact that you didn't love her? I would probably say so. Um, sh we didn't share a lot of the same interests, and I thought that I was in love. Um, but it, was it was good, it was fun. I mean, we, we had uh, good times together. Just uh, the dates and just, just being together was fun. My girlfriend and I, we've been dating for over a year and a half. Uh, started dating, we worked at the same place over the summer, the Christian Conference Center. And uh, right before we started dating, we, we did this, well, I was already in love with her, you know, the, the puppy love, not the definition of love, which I just described to you, but the, uh, the happy, heart skips a beat type of love. Um, we have a lot of similarities. Sometimes we joke that we're like the same person, but then in the same way, we also are kind of like, you know, like a puzzle. It's like each, you know, she kind of fills in my gaps and I fill in her gaps. Uh, because there's a lot of things that I'm awful at that she's really good at. I can, I can see myself spending the rest of my life with her in a different, more intimate way than obviously like friends or anything. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt, but like I've grown a lot in college and I don't know. I've never cared for anything quite as much as I have for her, I mean, more than myself, and I value myself pretty pretty highly, <laughs> but, uh... She's more special <clears throat> than any other girl. She, she is. I just want to know why. What? I, mean, I don't, I don't tell me, like, she has nice hair. I mean, well, how do you know that she is more special than any other girl? I'm sorry, I'm a terrible interviewer. Um... never thought about it. Um, I mean, it could be a feeling. Could, I mean, <clears throat> Nate said it was just in his gut. Um, I don't know, maybe. Uh, it, is, it is a gut feeling. My gut feeling says go with it. And I was listening to my gut. But <laughs> she's just... And also just a, uh, I guess maybe a, a complete concern with, with what, with them, you know, it, for one thing. And also just um, when you're not with them, almost a, just a feeling of incomplete, incompleteness. Um, just to, uh, I guess, I guess that would be it, would be, I didn't feel, I didn't feel that she was necessary to complete my life and that I, yeah, I guess that's what it would be. So when does infatuation turn into love? Does anyone really know the answer to that question? I don't know. I've never been in love, but I think it's, I think it's trial and error. You, you don't want to throw it out there and say that you love someone and then have to take it back. But infatuation is, I think that you know whenever, whenever you're really fed up with someone, 
But at the end of the day, all you want to do is talk to that person. So that's love. Whenever, whenever all those butterflies in your stomach finally leave, and you can sit down at the dinner table with that person in silence, and you still enjoy their company like it was the first day that you met them. That's love. You know, I, I don't think there's anyone else I'd rather just like sit next to for the day, you know? Like, it, it, you know, if I could just spend an entire Saturday beside her on the couch, like even though I'm all for not being lazy, you know, I'm all for working out, I wouldn't consider that a wasted day.